uh, hello folks, it's Ace here, just me. Uh, I'm coming into Las Vegas, you know, sliding out of the Grand Canyon. And I figured I'd record the approach and landing and, you know, put a little bit of commentary over it, maybe. So, contact, do I still have traffic? Let me turn on traffic real quick, because I know that's going to make the sim suffer slightly, but, uh... It's better when you're flying just solo by yourself, because you do get bored. Sorry for the new frame rate dropping. On my end, it's going to be, you know, very, very droppy, but on your end, you'll see it most likely as a very stable frame rate. That's Las Vegas Tower. I'm looking for McCarran. There's McCarran. Las Vegas Tower, Viper, November 832, Papa Whiskey, this time Viper, 7, Cairns over there, I believe, in the city. Viper, November 832, Papa Whiskey, transition approved. Report clear of Las Vegas Tower airspace. Well, report clear. Viper, 2, Papa Whiskey. Uh, Not <laughs> clear class to your airspace, I believe. No, <laughs> we're not. Carnes over there, I believe. Hard to spot my car from the air sometimes. It's a real tricky spot. It's right ahead, I believe. Uh, I've just been flying this thing around, you know. Flying it. It's, <laughs> it's really good. It's an airplane that don't get dull flying. You get a lot of enjoyment out of it, mileage. Shoot, see, you need to take the family for a road trip. To the family RV. The mountain in front of us. Let's go around the mountain. I'm getting, of course, we're right. I found two will fly straight over it, but, uh. It's a very nice approach in here. The only confusing part is gonna be taxiing my land, you know. My car is a pretty big airfield. Big to the point where you get very confused flying into it if you're a small airplane. B-17 is not, not too bad, you know. It's, it's a B-17. It's huge compared to this thing. But uh, something small like this, eh, it's a bit of a challenge. Gotta deal with all the taxiway turns and everything. Also, sorry if I'm not speaking much. Just, you know, I'm more focusing the approach and not <laughs> sure what to say sometimes. I'm just gonna put a little more throttle in here. What I might do is I might do an edit till when we get there because this is gonna be a <laughs> long flight in. If I'm right, that's my, yeah, that's my car on up ahead. It should pop on the GPS. 295. It's gonna say battery, and I'll be dead. Never use it. Okay, let me ask. Lost my car. Oh, we're about seven minutes out. No, it's not that bad. And by the way, if people wonder why I removed this GPS, okay. Is your visibility with the GPS? Without. Which one do you think is better? <laughs> Cherokee's a true, uh, true four-seater. I mean, I'm carrying this many people, and let me put James, technically James, in here. Yeah, still an overweight in the dang, dang airplane. Which I'm picking up a VOR, and I, I don't know what VOR I am picking up. What VOR am I picking up? Echo, Lima, Yankee. Let's go at full identifier. Echo Lima Yankee. What the heck am I pick? What one is Echo Lima Yankee? Because that little tool tells us uh, the n nearest. Huh. 
That is Echo Lima Yankee. Traveling away from animals, so it's in this direction. <laughs> Beyond me. Alright, that's let's contact him. Swing out and do the landing? No, oh, there's two five. Two five rights around there. Oh, I'm confused slightly. Yeah, two five zero is going this way. Ah, oh, okay, they went. Oh, I see what they're wanting a right hand pattern. They want a right hand pattern on the ends of the runway over there. Alright, we'll bring her in and put her down. I took a look at the manual. The airplane says it flies at about uh, 85 knots in the approach. I'm used to bringing it in at 60, so you know, I like to bring it in at 60. About 70, 60 knots, 60 miles an hour is what I like to bring it in at. Uh, if you guys see me flying on vets and November 767 Foxtrot Tango, feel free to join up in my wing. I'm starting to fly with other people. Man, look at those homes. One of these days I've got to make a video if I go to Las Vegas why I act like I'm lagging out immensely because, seriously, them homes. If I remember rightly, I looked upon uh, Simviation, surprisingly, there's no scenery for this trip. Look at like one bit of scenery. It's one bit out of how much? I do as they said, you know, make a right base for the runway. Turn our light nav lights on because it's getting a little dark. Still Hyper two on Right. Don't you think you're approving me to land a little far out, honey? Clear to land, runway two five right. Viper two five. Well, shoot. Closer than I thought. Okay, let's get her in. Get her in and begin the landing procedures. Wow, look at all them cars. Rush hour. Like to also note to everybody watching this video, it's currently real time for me, so sun is just setting in Vegas. What a perfect time to arrive, huh? You get to see all the nice lights and like just like to note with with the uh, orbit with FTX, the lights float. If you zoom in on them, they're just floating lights, no poles. I understand why they did that, you know, if they put the actual regular lights in, it'd be, you know, a massive lag fest, having to render all those poles just to put the lights on. How low are we now? Ah, oh, 3,000 feet. Must be at least 1,000 feet of altitude between this and sea level. Okay, we're about 1,400. So let's assume we're about 400 up, maybe? This would be a safe assumption, so we're gonna start slowing the airplane down, swinging out a little, and bring her in and put her on down! There we go, we're getting our flap extension speeds. We're underneath flap, ex yeah, we're definitely underneath flap extension speed. The airplane start to slow down, we'll make the right, we'll make the turn to final. I'm not gonna worry about floating it too much. I mean, you guys see how much runway I got? <laughs> don't need that much runway. The Piper Cherokee people. This ain't no 74. 
Oh shoot, 747. <laughs> I would laugh right now. 747 just blew over me to land. I'd be crapping my pants. I'd be like, holy crap, it's a 747. Oh crap. He's huge. I know people, I know like places like Tampa International are starting to try and encourage VFR pilots to come in more. Well, get rid of these guys right here and we'll come in. Because I don't want to land at an international airport where I got a chance of getting ran over by one of them guys. I've actually been to Vegas. That was an uh, interesting fact. I was actually uh, at Vegas around the time of, uh, you know, 9-11. So I was like five years old. Just got my Game Boy. And you know, the Game Boy was gotten for the trip home. But, you know, at the time I didn't know what happened. And when I found out what happened, it was, you know, something a bit, you know, shocking, because I was just a little kid, you know. I couldn't comprehend what was going on, and when I found out, it surprised me immensely. And, James, if you say I'm not in the center line, I believe I'm dealing with a crosswind right now, bud. So, yep. Come on, come on. There she goes. Piper 2, pop and whiskey. Exit runway when able. Yeah, I landed on 25 right. Okay, just making sure. It's like, exit runway when able. I'm like, what? Yeah, I landed on that runway. Yeah, I landed on that runway. Okay. Just didn't make sure it was at all chance I landed on the wrong one, you know. It's a blasted wing sock on this dang airfield. Wait, it's Vegas. Why would they have a wing sock? Try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to turn right now, honey. You want me to scratch my brakes? Las Vegas Tower, orbit six one two eight at runway two five right. I thought you said take off for IFR landing. Hyper two pop and whiskey contact ground on one two one point one. Orbit 6128, cleared for takeoff. Runway 25 right. 121.1, Fort Piper 2, Papa Whiskey. Alright, 121.1, good old one. Cleared for takeoff, runway 25 right. 121.1, 100. Taxi, parking please. Piper, November 83, 2, Papa Whiskey, request taxi to parking. Piper, November 83, 2, Papa Whiskey. And this is where we turn on taxi assist. Why do I say this? Because I can't copy what they've said and put it in a pad. They don't give me left or right turns. And also, there's going to be 5,001 ATC transmissions after that one that's going to get rid of it. Man, what is it, Dash 8 Rush Hour? Look at this. Two Dash 8s. They're like, uh oh, Piper landed. Got to go. This is just a lovely airplane, the VFR. Uh, beacon light off, that off. Oh. The heck? The, I'm gonna have to check that out. You guys are seeing that too, right? It's like blink, 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 blink. The light bulb going bad. I checked that. Could be frame rate. I don't know. Oh, any yeah, it's like blink, blink, blink. Weird. I think these are plugged in. You can tell when I shut them off. Panel dims. I love how this thing's got working circuit breakers. Only one other airplane for FS boasts that. <sighs> Major Dash 8. We we bring it to all. Bonjour, Mademoiselle. 
Yeah, I wonder if other AI for the Senate land here go. Well, yep, I just land at an international airfield. I know Jai will get blown away when a jet gets in front of me. So far, no 7-4s. Most of their constellation <laughs> off there. What is the constellation doing on the airfield? Orbit nine or nine or six six. Continue taxi. Wait, is it? Not going nine or six six. It's a seven four eight. What are you talking about? Ooh. I also Bob like to note. Taxiing a bit fast for this airplane. Taxi to West Park. Beach November six eight eight five Quebec. Taxi to General Aviation. Park. <laughs> it's like West Park. Yeah, good job, bud. West Park. Jeez, thank the Lord we're not at Memphis International. You know how many taxiway signs those guys will give you? Taxi this one, that one, this one, that one, this, this one, that one, that one, this one, that one, that one. It's like, Jesus. Don't go there on one of these planes. You will be taxiing for three hours. Half an hour at the most. Don't believe me? Go there. It's like crazy. I wonder if I generally would be on bad the landing lights blinking. I wonder if Fate's Way simulated the bulb going bad, because I've never noticed it. You go bing 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 Before, you know? And that's clearer than an airplane taxiing up ahead. Looks like a small GA. Jesus. Is it me or taxiing at the, an airport and one of these little things make you just appreciate the airplane more? It's like you just watch these big guys fly by and you're like, Man, I'm not glad to be over there, not there. Over here, not there. Wake up, me. <laughs> Wake up. I'm on a sleeper. A long day. Let's go park this bird. I think parking space is right up here. I'm praying to the ever loving Piper to Jerk good it is. if we'd be asking for permission to cross, but of course, the logic of the flight sim, we taxi right on across. Beach 8-5 Quebec, hold position, caution the departing Tablet Dash 8. Jeez, I almost thought it was a Dash 8 on the freaking road, we just taxi it over. It's like, They parked me right at the end of the runway? They parked me right at the end of the 2 5. That'd be awesome if they had to switch runways. I'll get planes landing over top of me. Is the other one? New dash 8. Jeez, am I the only little GA airplane here? Jeez, I am. Look at this. Where do you see any Cessnas at? They did. They parked me right at the end of the runways, didn't they? Hey, that's actually a neat parking spot. Hey, 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 it's me. Yeah, Orbit 
Contact but they gave me a... <gasps> oh, look. Well, there's a moon. There's a Mooney, look at that, it's a Mooney. And a baggage car parked right in front of me. Good placement, flight sim, good placement, good job. 10 out of 10, best game ever. Alright, brakes on. Avionics off, fuel pump off. Ain't too dark, don't mind off. Parking brake applied. Alright, magnetos off. Master ignition off. Let's go check the airplane out real quickly. Flying it so much. Alright, folks, we'll just tie it down for the night. There we go. And I will see you folks later. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the laggy laggy frame rate that is Las Vegas. And the awesomeness that is the fact we park at the end of. Oh, we're not. Darn. Also. I also want to know I bounced enough for it to get rid of my no trust and tie down, so I will be seeing you folks later. Adios.